Hello and welcome to Monday afternoon. It's probably Tuesday. It's roguelike dolls. We're playing the Binding of Isaac Repentance. We have a win streak of zero because um, we lost that run that we just had, which is fine. So we're going to random another hard mode run and see how that goes. Oh, we got um, Blue Baby. Okay, 6AC, 6VQ, 3-4. Let's do it. Um, what's Blue Baby's deal? Uh, they're pretty much just like Isaac, but they can't pick up red hearts. So inherently a lot worse. They have the poop, which isn't very useful. They're sort of like a challenge character, I guess. Um, what do we got to do? We got to do like everything on them. So no big deal. If we die, I'm probably not going to like bang my head against this character in this episode. I'm probably just going to take it as the warm up run, you know, and then oh, that was awful. Uh, and then go from there. And, you know, this does have big warm up run energy, so I think we could get there. Um, what do I know? I'm taking a little break from Twitter, kind of. I'm still, like, browsing and liking shit. I'm just not, like, posting or really commenting that much. I'm just trying to use it a lot less. I think I might begin using it, like, zero-ish, apart from, like, posting episodes of Isaac, which is more of a... It's not really anything you know that, that, that that's not really a like a twitter use that i'm overly concerned with and it's not like i'm super concerned with twitter use at all it's just um i feel like maybe i'd be happier if i was spending less time online and more time you know doing stuff that makes me happy um went for a really okay jog yesterday it was fine um did some yoga this morning um i don't know if i'll go for a jog today just because it's a little wet out and i kind of already exercised um but i will probably go for a run tomorrow um my my running is pretty pathetic it's like I think I'm, you know, I'm counting it because it's the spirit of running, not the actual running itself. I probably made it like four ish, maybe four ish minutes running twice and then like 30 minutes of walking. Um, I'm just in bad shape, you know, uh, my short-term goal for the running is simply... That's interesting. We don't... Uh, it got double active, like, sucks ass, but it's the biggest wild card. Well, let's... You know, it's useless, but... You can always find a plopia or something, and it can be kind of good, but... You never know. Plus, we don't have any money, so who cares? Plus, it's a warm-up round. Mongo Baby is pretty good. Um, I think. Like, in terms of what it puts out, it's good. It synergizes well with other um, dudes that we can find. So, you know, not a bad get overall. Gotta admit. Um... We'll go ahead and give that a pop right away. We don't have any bombs, but that's that's just fine. We have a key. We love to see that. Hate not having a key. Oh no. Um I don't know what voice that was. I don't know what this does. Let's just do it. Uh this is an item. That's also an item. And you know what? It's a it's a really damn good item. Right? Give me the world. There's no utility to popping the world a second time, huh? Um, we could have done great things with that key, but I have no regrets. Oh, that was bad. 
We'll just see how it goes after we kill this boss. Um, we might not get to the boss. We might just straight up die to spiders, and that's a strategy too. Hi, Stanley. Stanley's yelling at me. I didn't really um, pay that much attention to him after I got home, so he's mad. Needless to say, I should have manhandled him more. You know, cats require a certain amount of, um, y you know, uh, handling in order to actualize, I think. Uh, all right, a bomb gets us into the secret room, which we didn't have access to. We're close to death, but we're not um, sweating it, right? All right, extra bombs, very nice. A coin, just fine. We're gonna use Empress on the boss, and then we're gonna use the world on the next floor, and then we're gonna die, and then we're gonna start a run as like, uh, I don't know, Samson or something, and then we're gonna win. Ow. We might just die in this room, it could happen. Uh, come on, bud. Uh, get out of here. Um, what else am I thinking about? I've been trying to hydrate really well lately, and let me tell you, if you drink all the water that you need to drink in a day, you will pee six trillion times. Um, let's go ahead and exit. Like, I've been peeing, like, every 45 fucking minutes all day because I've been, like, regularly drinking water. And also, you know, I start my day with, like, 500 milligrams of caffeine or something. Um, you know, like a normal God-fearing American. Q-F-P-Y-E-M-B-D. Okay. We ran him into Kane. I think we still got some stuff to do with Kane. Yeah, we could go. Um, we still got to do Mega Satan. All right, let's think. We have one and a half health. This is damage. This isn't very cool active item. Do I like damage and fear effect more than Brimstone? Yeah, we'll die if we take the other item and we'll be at a half health after we leave this room, but we just love damage. We're not that crazy about fear shot. If we get hit, we're dead. So we ought to not do that. We have no additional hearts, but we have three soul hearts because I just yeeted one of our red hearts into oblivion so that we would have more hits so that we didn't immediately die. I think it's the play. Ow. It might not be the play. We might just die. We'll find out. It's okay. Living massively overrated. Um, we simply need to kill all the enemies, pick up the powerful items, and win the run. It's very... A simple, well-established game plan. We have two blue hearts currently, I think, if I'm counting correctly. I might be grossly miscounting. What do we got in an item room? We're doing great on keys. Speed up, range up. Sure. Why not? Oh, uh, no. Um, so my short term running goal is I want to be able to run. This looks like such a secret room, but it's probably not. But it could be. But it it just has secret room energy that could be wrong. But that is the, uh, you know, the appearance to me. Great stuff um, on this floor. For sure. For sure, for sure, for sure, for sure. Uh, unfortunately, we are going to bomb this donation machine. Because I want this soul heart really bad. And I also want to kill this spider without taking damage. I didn't do it. 
All right, we did it. Um, let's kill the boss. Okay, boss. Could be worse. We have speed too, which makes it a lot easier not to get hit on this boss and damage, which mostly makes the boss shorter, but you know, that's a great way to avoid um, damage is to spend less time fighting the boss. All right, we didn't get a devil deal, which is fine because this is floor one and we weren't expecting one. We did get pageant boy, which is also fine, I guess. Um, ba, 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 ba. there's nothing really to explore on this floor anymore. We could try to bomb for Oingo Boingo, but I don't want to. Do we need? Uh, yeah, let's do this. I don't know if we're going to stick on um, alt path, but we're at least going to start it. We have three blue hearts, which is great. In my opinion, the uh, pageant boy should give you 15 cents. <laughs> like, you know, seven cents has slightly more utility than seven cents. As much as that makes sense, like getting more money is like it probably brings you closer to the 15 cent play, right? Because you need 15 cents in a store to make a play. The, my problem with Pageant Boy is that it averages out to like seven cents, I guess, um, which isn't really enough to directly get an item most of the time unless it's on sale. Uh, this is a terrible position. If we die, we die. Uh, I didn't even see that spider. There wasn't very good contrast. It got past me and was hanging out over the pit. That's alt path for you. We were playing a dangerous game anyways. Range up's fine. I would have liked the balls of steel, but I guess you can't always get balls of steel. It can only happen sometimes. These guys are scarier than I think they are actually dangerous. All right, no spiders, just a bomb, a harmless little bomb. We should go to the store maybe immediately. Just, uh, you know, there's a reasonable chance of like very sudden Isaac death syndrome. Right. Well, nonetheless. All right. Will you pursue me into eating a bomb? Now, this guy will not kill us because we're going to use strategies. All right. And then he shoots some leeches and we easily destroy the leeches. And then we repeat from the beginning. Except for without a bomb this time. He seems fast. All right, he's going to pop up and shoot. He's going to jump. I think it's a tall order for him to get into the groundbreaking phase again. I don't know if he does that. Completely unsure. Uh, We have Devil Deal precedent. That's OK. We have one piece of guppy. That's just a fact, um, pretty much undisputable. We can't afford anything else in a devil deal at the moment. That could change with our little pill baggy situation. I took it because pills are strong as Kane. I mean, cards are always strong, but pills are strong. We have guaranteed good pills, so um, I think with that knowledge, pills are better than cards for Kane, which might be an inc like an incredibly searing hot take. Um, but I think it's true. 
You know what? Even if it's inactive, I don't mind. Uh, just a not so good passive item. Let's get off this floor. I think we have no choice but to continue the alt path. And I don't know where the secret room is. Um, this isn't looking like a win to me, but it's also very early in the run. Things could change quickly. A single item could fix everything. You know, we could die. We could just straight up die. You can be killed by leeches. Leeches could kill us. We have a lot of keys, though. Nobody's, uh, nobody's coming for our key pile. Oh my God. Easy. Um, item room acquired. This is my new least favorite spawning enemy. Uh, he's bad. He shoots these flies. These flies are bad, but they're not so bad in a big room, I guess. Could be worse. Uh, let's go for this. Mass shock. Could be substantially worse. There are worse items in the Binding of Isaac. You know what? Let's destroy our donation machine. For marginal benefit. Right? That's what we love doing. We should save these bombs for the boss or something. Incredible. Like, the map's not that valuable. I mean, the map's pretty good. Could have took a half soul heart of damage and then, like, done something with the... You know, what's it room there, but... Well, I think we're fine. I don't think we need to make a play for that. Um, for the boss trap room. In this run. Bomb. Bomb. No spikes. Mirror. Friends, they die instantly. This guy doesn't die instantly because he takes a second to appear. That's okay. Not everyone can die instantly. Some people gotta take their time. What boss do we have? We need two bombs for the um, door thing. Whatever it's called. Uh, alt path. Like, progressing on the alt path. That'll kill him. I think. Let's just, uh, let's just bomb that now. Okay. And let's search it for pennies. No pennies. That's okay. It doesn't always have pennies. But sometimes you go in there, it has pennies. That's an important fact. Yeah, I mean, there's nothing uh, to talk more about the Twitter thing. Um, mainly not using it right now. I don't. Th oh, that was nice. Um, you know, there's nothing. There's no emergency. I'm not in crisis or anything. I just uh, think that I could be using social media in a more way where I use social media less. <laughs> huge, huge, huge journey to the item room. Short distance to the boss room. So I think what we're actually going to do is boss first and try not to die. And then we're going to go um, then we're going to go item room second. He'll disappear if you be break all the, like, poops and rocks and stuff in a room. That's a fun fact. He's a champion. That's not going to die immediately. Shot speed up. Wonderful. Ow. Don't get killed. You got him. Damage up. Okay. Let's go get our knife piece. Unfortunately, I don't think a secret room is next to the room. 
Uh, mass uh, damage should be doing good things for us, though. Like in most rooms. We should have significantly less damage to take. Oh my god, don't kill me. Those guys shouldn't be able to kill me because I can fly. All right, these guys can kill me, but we got them. Speed up, wonderful. Let's get out of here. And this time we're not gonna bomb the mirror. We're simply going to walk through it and then not lose the run. Uh, let's go back to the store because the map is it worth it? Nah. <laughs> we'll save our money. Let's, um, we'll either donate it on the next floor or something. I think we can do better than the map or the nine volt, though, because we don't even have a battery based, um, active item at the moment. Curse of the Lost, charming. Oh, I wanted to get hit by that, um, uh shot apparently really bad uh but i managed not to i still don't know what this tears charm does i just i have no idea that's nice um let's keep it moving we're actually making really good time partially because our floors have been shitty i don't know if our floors have been shitty but we're making okay time ow that is fair that is extremely fair All right, die. Thank you. All right. Uh, tarot cloth does nothing for us because we already have a little baggy. That's just the facts. Okay. You know what? Let's donate. A luck up would be fine. A bomb would be okay, too. I think we need health to move on, but not on this floor. Um, we are looking for the item room and I guess nothing else. Um, I guess we want the boss, but that's like it. Thank you. Tons of keys. All right, that was a little circle. Was there anything else in here? Um, let's try this again. All right, and then let's try... All right, that was silly. I just want to see if that's the secret room. All right, I don't think it is. But if the bombs are free, I like poop petrified better on floor one. Um, I don't like it here that much. I don't think it does. Uh, butter doesn't do anything for us either, I guess, probably. Uh, let's take a random item. I think butter might cause us to drop our active item if we get hit. Which I guess could be useful in um, niche scenarios. We have to acknowledge that our stats are fine. And that, like, the only problems with this run, I guess, you could say are, like, health. I would love a payout from this guy. All right. We might get more red hearts around. There might already be red hearts around. Would I re-roll? Probably. If for no other reason than for fun. Alright. Give me this. We don't even know if that's a re-roll machine, to be fair. Alright, so he's had six dunks in him. What do we got? D20? I don't need a key. If either of these could become a heart, that'd be nice. Uh, same difference, I guess. It's not a floor-wide D20, I think. 
Uh, we'll just keep her moving. What do we got in here? Uh, we gotta do it. Ow. Was that a spider that hit me? I just don't know. I just don't know anymore. Uh, mainly I don't know what hit me. Ari, was it a spider or not? No idea. That guy puffed up big. Probably shouldn't let him blow up on us. Whoa, jeez. These guys aren't too bad. They're a little weird, but they aren't too bad. Ow, that was very bad play on my part. But well, we're getting lots of health, which is good. Maybe we can turn that health into a fancy new devil deal item. Using this bagger. Thank you. We will keep going. We are no longer making good time, but that's fine. I want to win. And part of that is walking back and forth between these two rooms repeatedly and then dying like four seconds later to a boss. But the important thing to remember is that it will waste a lot of your time. Okay. No idea how that works. Let's keep this temperance machine up in case we find ourselves in a scenario where we can use it. We could get more red hearts. It could happen. Well, okay, fine. Is this how this works? All right. Wow. Incredible. Does anyone remember what's in the store? I do not. <laughs> I'm very nervous about everything right now in this run. We just don't have very much health. Uh, in an emergency situation, we can pop Guppy's Paw and get rid of a little bit of this max HP. Um, for reasons, namely, that would be bad for us. I don't want to do that. But, you know, it's a it's an alternative to death that I will do if the alternative is death. I forget if there's like a store or something somewhere on this floor. We know where the boss is now. Here's the store. God. It, it's hard to make a case against tarot cloth besides the fact that it's literally worthless. Apart from that, it is a great item um, that we would be happy to have. But I suppose we'll just go die on the boss or whatever you're supposed to do in this scenario. Not like an expert, but if I had to make a guess, that's what I'm going to do. Uh, not a bad boss to die on. Um... No, this should be easy. Uh, this boss is not too bad. You know what? Fuck this guy. That red guy, specifically, I guess. Um, boop, 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 boop. We got him. I posted about it on Twitter, and I think I'm going to stick with my gut on it. But I like to test the water every once in a while, because I, I think it is something that will happen eventually. But... Uh, but my uh, thing that I posted about was whether or not it would make sense to have like a roguelike dolls discord server. And my my gut feeling is I don't want that because discord servers are fraught with peril right um did any like s health spawn or anything no let's just get off this floor this floor is terrible i hate curse of the lost um yeah i mean discord servers like any other server just needs to be like moderated right maybe we get a bonus heart for every empty heart that we carry to the next floor infinite bombs is great 
That is a good thing that we love to see on a floor. It will help us immensely. Um, so let's test that theory if we can by going down to the next floor with infinite, or not with infinite, but with two empty soul hearts if we can swing it somehow. Didn't get hit. I don't know how. That's fine. Little bone pin. Got him. Beth's faith is... No, Maggie's faith. We get a heart every time we... Or an eternal heart every time we go down to the next floor. And if we can keep it, we get a real heart. Um, Because that's how eternal hearts work. I don't think that's too bad. This is a terrible room to, like, bomb for stuff in. You know, this actually... We might go for it. That's pretty good. Get him. Get him. Rage equals power is... We get damage when we take damage, I think. And that's not a bad trinket. Either. Uh, Maggie's faith doesn't do anything for us while we're walking around here. So even if it is the play... It might be the play for, you know, after we're ready to go and not for walking around. The, this um, trinket is indisputably better for walking around. Um, better still than um, what's it? The paper clip? because that only does anything for us if we find gold chess and even in the gold chess market ow all right you guys are very effective at your jobs good job um even in the gold ch you know what wide shot is not that useful hp up is very good well a temperance machine could be cool i guess if that's how it works I don't know if this item gives us a free heart on the next floor, because if it does, that's basically just three free soul hearts per floor, which is pretty good. Balls of steel. Oh, no. Do I want this item and am I going to pop it once? Oh, it's too much to think about. I'm not going to think about it. Ha. That's how I solve all my problems. I'm just like, ah, no. <laughs> and then I don't. That's just it. I'm just like, no way. You know what? I'm not a fan of fear shot. I might, uh, I might change my mind on that. But for the time being, we're going to go with not a fan. God, these guys are like so hazardous, but I've been getting very lucky. Is there anything else on this floor? I guess we found the secret room. We know the super secret room isn't there, so my guess is here. We do have infinite bombs, but you know. We shouldn't. This does nothing for us, but I must. You are such a fuck. Just die. You can't just say, just die to an angel. That's a servant of the Lord. Have some fucking respect. It's a video game, Angel. You can say what you want. You can say what you damn want about the video game, Angel. Um, That's what I always say. Let's go actually do this thing over here. I've considered it. And I think it's time. I love these uh, alt path runs because they're eight hours long and they suck. Um, not narratively, just like... You know, I should say from the perspective of the person doing it, but honestly, I, I usually melt these alt path runs for a little bit longer than I do, like, you know, my normal gung-ho... Uh, 
alt path true ending like maybe alt path like is pretty close to the same level of difficulty as like the normal endings uh that, that's uh that's abundantly fair i i uh i just didn't dodge and that's why i got hit you know it happens she gets real close it's kind of weird should not have gotten hit there oh hello we'll just min max all these fires on this chase uh, not a terrible floor layout, but um, I want to take some of these narrow sections slow because, like, that's how I dodge things, so gotta not get jammed up in the narrows. Um, Alright, you come over here. Perfect. You go over there. Off we go. Oh, jeez, come on. Um, we got hit twice, which, uh, does suck. But I think it's okay. I'm not gonna take Maggie's heart. I'm gonna take the item that we have, because I think it's okay. Um, and if we, if we want Maggie's... Actually, I don't know how your power grows, because it's not working. You know, like it doesn't do anything. So I, I'm a lot more inclined to take Maggie's heart, I guess. Just uh, from the pers fuck from the perspective, this guy's like never hit me before. And now he's hit me so many times. And I got to say, I should have used a lot of bombs on him. I don't know if he's bomb immune. OK, so we got to unlock this. Which, unfortunately, is going to eat most of our soul hearts. And then we got to take this. That's a lot cheaper. Because uh, a, um, a heart is worth exactly three to us. So... By getting rid of all of our hearts, we get that item for three soul hearts instead of six. Does that make sense? I'm not sure if it does. I think it does personally, but it could be wrong. And then uh, Maggie's faith will get us an additional soul heart now and a health on the next floor, assuming we can keep it. And this other item gave us one empty heart container because that's how it works. I, th I think I want to look up the item. I, th I have a feeling if you had two empty heart containers when you went down to the next floor, it would just, like, give you two empty hearts because it says it multiplies. And that's what that makes me think about it. That could be wrong. No, thanks. We have stuff. Not not desperate for stuff. Um, damage synergizes really well with this other silly item that we have. Um, the, uh, can, like, mass contagion or whatever does room damage when we enter a room so if possible oh my god let's just think about this for a second all right get in here get out of here these things are gonna shoot we didn't get hit thanks to halo flies but we did get hit but it didn't count Boop, boop, boop. Perks is good. It's just straight up good. We'll carry it for a while. We might get rid of it if there's something else we want to carry. But otherwise, I'm sort of planning on carrying it to the end of the earth. 
I'll just pop it during the mom fight if we don't have a better card. But uh, thinking about, and I mean like the end mom fight. Um, okay, one down. How do I do this? You'll hit there. All right, that's entirely fair. All right, where are you gonna go? I'm like thinking of how this is supposed to work. All right. I'm not a smart person. And I've thought about it. Ah, mother, motherfucker. I think we got to reset. Kind of like if you do that. All right. Fuck, we need to be on the blue part. This is possibly even worse. Um, all right, so it's gonna launch again. And then, oh my God. All right, that's fine. This is the worst room ever. Ow, you will take everything from us. Oh my God, <laughs> I hate it. It's so bad. That room fucked us up so bad. If we win, I don't even know how. I'm just out of there. I hope the boss isn't over there because... God, that's fucking terrible. That's so bad. I'll, I'll come back to it. I know how to solve the puzzle in the room. I just fucked it up. Let's go ahead and get this. Okay. I just want to backtrack to get the secret room, I guess. Having a couple extra balls of steel is good. An extra pretty fly is also good. And a freeway into the cursed room. You guessed it. Sick and nasty. Just how the kids are saying good these days. Drowsy is great. A second perks is okay. I think that might be another Balls of Steel. We'll keep an I'm Drowsy. Um, we'll just use a Balls of Steel, I think. But we'll keep an I'm Drowsy for sure. We got money. I'm feeling way less tilted now that we got, like, practically full health from that room. Right? I don't know what exploded into that creep, but I hate it. Ugh. Do we want a slower protector? Does that make us safer? I think it actually does. This is a scenario, I think, where the fat protector makes us a lot safer. That might not be true. It didn't replace any of our flies in our halo. More um, data, for sure, required. All right, more stuff, that's good. Some hearts, that's okay. If we find a temperance machine, it could be really cool. Or a demon beggar. We do have a lot of hearts on the floor at the moment. So, some rooms, we just don't have to fight. All right, why did you make that noise when we entered the room? There is one over here all right so we warp that way and then we come down and we're relatively safe what do you do you're you're probably the solution to the puzzle so we gotta go ow too fast i guess <sighs> we will never get that correct unfortunately Oh, no, it's the missing poster. Um, if we kill ourselves while we're holding the missing poster, we unlock the lost, I think. But we have to kill ourselves in a cursed room. So it's kind of like we get the missing poster and then we have to bet on getting a cursed room at some point. Motherfucker. All right, here's an idea.
much better. Warp over here, fight greed. All right, I'm just kidding. I was just counting on the greed fight because that's how it usually goes. Uh, a Diplopia play could be really interesting if we get a devil deal. Will we get a devil deal? I don't know. We might. And I'm pretty sure we get out of the boss if we do. Um, I, I think um, the next floor is the one that we got to think about a little bit in terms of, you know, devil deals and stuff. All right. They're all out of there. These guys only move when you shoot, you might have noticed. Get rid of that guy. All right. We have great stuff. We got a Diplopia. I might just use Diplopia on the boss item if it is damaged. Because we're probably not going to get... Um, I don't think we're going to get a Devil Deal. However, um, we do have a really good thing going with Maggie's Faith. Um, oh my god, I love this boss. He has so many tears inside of him. I find that relatable. Um, oh my god, he teleports. He's like a ninja. That's not the only teleporting thing in the world, but the reason why I think he's like a ninja is because he throws a bomb at his feet. I'm not entirely opposed to this health, but let's... All right, so here's what we're going to do, I think. We're going to go ahead and say... Oh my god, all right. Walk me through it. None of these things do anything fancy with um, your HP. And I'm not going to take the item that ruins runs, I think. But I am going to take, and I don't think I need a second one of the bloods, right? What I do need is a second brimstone for sure. And a second one of these guys. Um, and I want a health up. And I want my paw back. Oh my god, look at that brimstone. Uh, the paw is great. The shot speed up is fine. A bomb is fine. We cannot donate anymore. So that is also okay. Do we have anything else to do on this floor? Unclear. If the devil deal is still open, I might go back in. All right, it's not. Um, all right, nothing to do here. So we're going to get a, at least one health up on the next floor. And we got two health up. One is an empty container and we got an eternal heart. So a cool thing is that we just got three health worth of health up, right? Just be prepared to kill everything in every room like so. I would love like six more balls of steel pills. Those were great. Oh, dangerous little guy. Experimental pills always sick on Kane because it just does one good thing. Cool. Uh, this guy kind of farts and floats around the room, so I'm gonna go ahead and see if we can get something better. We did, it was much better. Oh my god, this is so bad. Alright, that wasn't too bad. It was pretty bad, but it wasn't too bad. We want the store, we want to kill mom. We can fly. But we still have to be tactical. We can fly, but we must be tactical. We can fly, though tactical we must be. Um, I just wanted that fucking coin, and it's just like all the way on the other side of the room, and there's just no getting it. All right, lots of bombs, easy secret room. I'm just kidding. It's never that simple. Oh, do you see how there's an eye in the center of that thing that looks at you? That's pretty cool. 
trying to waste a couple of bombs trying to find the super secret room. Please excuse me. That's not the super, or that's not the regular secret room. I do really enjoy Big Brimstone. It is quite good. Balls of Steel, love to see it. And I'm Drowsy might be worth using on this mom, but I'm not like 150% sold. Would you all mind if I went and looked on the wiki real quick to see how the fuck Empty Heart works? Would that be okay with you? Would you be all right with that? Would you be able to recover from a scenario where I took a couple of seconds to access a reference material? What in the world? How do we take damage? That's so confusing. I don't know. Don't worry about it too much. Ooh, a crawl space. Uh, we're gonna bomb this guy. Alright, alright, alright. A couple more pills. Telepills, fine. But we're not gonna do anything with them. And let's visit our crawl space, respectfully. Still don't know if that bug is fixed. We'll probably not figure out on this floor. It, it probably got fixed like four months ago, but not going to discover it here because I'm like 35% sure it would ruin our run. We're getting a lot of cool stuff exploring, so I'm not um, too opposed to wandering around a little bit here. No matter how, what way you cut it, we did get a lot of cool stuff wandering around here. And it's, it's not that risky. Um, all right, so secret room discovered. Super secret room still at large. Great deal. Let's take a, another peeksy weeksy around for the super secret room. We're flying. Wasn't it? All right, so maybe that wasn't it either. That's incredible. Is it all the way to the south? I don't think we don't need our bombs for anything, so. Ah, oh, it wasn't. Where could it be? Off the curse room? That's ridiculous. All right, so I have three questions I'm going to hit the wiki with. One is, what the fuck is empty heart and how does it work? Is it worth losing this faith heart to have three empty hearts so that we can have six hearts on the next floor which we can turn into soul hearts unclear let's find out empty heart isaac how does it work if isaac has an empty heart container another one is added at the start of each floor. If Isaac has an empty heart container, no red hearts, or one red heart container, an empty heart container is added at the start of the next floor. Having an empty bone heart will not trigger this effect. Um, blue baby gains no benefit. Coin hearts don't work. Okay, so you can only get one heart off of it. Um, and it probably makes sense to have like no hearts worth of red hearts when we want to use it but the maximum amount of red hearts that we can get off of it is exactly one so we would want to it might just depend on how much damage we have here right like after these couple bosses Ow. That, that was exceptionally fair. Ow. What a trickster. That that really fast stomp is impressive. Ow. Okay. Um, we took some damage. We're not... We're probably not going to have use of Polaroid invincibility, but it feels like a pretty big waste considering our damage. So, And I think there is a path where we do suddenly take advantage of Polaroid invincibility and that is just uh 
I want to get closer so these flies start doing some stuff for us. They will do like a multiplied 17 damage when they attack, so. Keeping relatively safe while those things spread around. We didn't get a devil deal or anything. So here's what I'm thinking. We're going to go boop. Boop. And here's the controversial one. Boop. And then when we go down to the next floor, we're going to have two hearts, right? So we're going to lose two of those soul hearts, but we're going to have fodder to gain six more soul hearts, right? And we get another health potentially on the next floor. We are lost. So let's just do our best. Let's just do our dang best. Four bombs for a key that we didn't need to spend and a bomb that we did need to spend. And that's a good deal. The 13 keys. I will go down until I have five keys. Or you die. All right, you didn't die. Little trooper. Five keys. We don't need the keys for anything. I just, I don't know. I think it's interesting. I didn't know he could give a fly. We're learning all kinds of stuff on the Binding of Isaac. Anyways, I don't think anything bad would happen with a Discord server, right? I'm like, I myself am not a horrible predator of any kind. Uh, at least that's what I think. Um, and I don't think my fan base is especially, you know, horrible. Uh, if anything, you can just owe that entirely to its size. You know, I, I don't think we have a big enough fan base to be especially horrible at this point in the channel's life, unless one of you is like particularly vile. Um, but that hasn't been my impression. Uh, I don't think any of you are particularly vile. Um, however, discords require moderation and like, especially discords for a channel that's of the size where a discord, like having a discord for the YouTube channel kind of makes sense. Um, Right? Somebody's got to moderate it, and I don't really want to do it. And also, I don't really want any other humans to do it. Um, like, because, I mean, the channel doesn't generate really any revenue at the moment. Um, like, we're not monetized uh, through, you know, YouTube, at least. Uh, I have a Patreon, which nets maybe eight or twelve dollars a month um so we're not we're not exactly pulling in like the big numbers here um in terms of cash or anything if i if i was like a real youtube channel i'd probably just like pay a moderator you know and I'd just like uh like, it's not relevant to me, but I think if you were, like, an ethical human with a YouTube channel of a certain size, um, you you could for sure... All right, I'm Drowsy's good. This is something's wrong. All right. I don't think we need status effects. We have a, quite a good thing going with Maggie's faith. Fuck, do I want to do this? I want to do this? Um, all right, so two hearts is never a good deal. Right? So let's get rid of this. And then get rid of that. Two hearts is always a bad deal. Oh, that's sick. We didn't lose any of our um, rotten babies, which is good. And we got okay items. Look at that circle. Let's go down to the next floor. We're going to get two more soul hearts on the next, or not two more soul hearts. We're going to get two actual HP on the next floor. Um, my opinion on this item, which I didn't know how it worked. Um, empty heart, I think that's correct. If I had to give it a letter grade, I would give it at least an A. Fuck. 
I would give it at least an A, and here's why. Um, it gives you an HP every floor, and that's very good. It's not very complicated. We have six extra hits um, in addition to the HP that we currently have, but I would like to not get into some sort of horrible attrition situation here where we are murdered before we get to mom. I think if we can get there with good HP, this will be not too bad. Um, I do think our build does like infinite damage. Like, it's just so much. This is such a good build. I, I don't think I've been selling it too much, but it's so good. We get six free soul hearts per floor. That's, a, that's incredible. Can't put a price on that. You can, they're five cents a piece. So essentially we get 30 cents infused into us of value every floor. Let's go down to two cents or as many gold chests as we have keys. All right. That's good enough. Like a top tier item out of there. Got him. Why not? Why not carry a little bit of health? Just being careful. Looking out for mimics. There's almost no chance that we'll get any benefit from this money, but that's okay. We didn't get that much in our donation machine, but I think we were net positive for the episode despite some of our transgressions against the donation machine. This is not so bad. We'll do that one right away. I'm not sure about the other one. All right. So we have a lot of hits and we don't need to do anything with our other thing, our other card until, or our other max HP until we have room for it. We need at least three soul hearts, right? If phase one should end quickly here, we're doing good damage. And I'm Drowsy makes it a lot easier. And now she'll fall, good. I wanna get in close enough for these flies. And then I wanna blast. That, that was terrible dodging, just awful. Just terrible. You know what? You have an attack fly. Why not use it? Get her through the back on each way. Oh my god. Blown the fuck out. This is easy mode. Oh, you're going to do some sort of attack? Why even dodge? At this point? It's pathetic. I don't really understand that attack, but I think we just need to get behind her. And then she's going to put out some ugly things that are going to fly around and be dangerous, but they're not too bad. And then she's going to die because we're doing a lot of damage. She's dead. Um, hit the like button, hit subscribe, and I'll see you on the next episode of Roguelike Dolls. Love you guys, as always. We unlocked Guppy's eye. Wow. See you later. Bye-bye.